Shorty never acts wild. She's very low key on the profile. <laughs> Hi, tribe. Hello, first time watchers. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, if anything resonates with your spirit, go ahead hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and or share. We are a unique group of people here on this YouTube space. We kind of look at things from a hut wisdom perspective, so it's a little bit outside of the box. And I'm sure the information that you're going to come across today might challenge your way of thinking just a tad bit. Today we're going to talk about Sabrina Elba, but before we do, I want to say something. On this channel, we have had Jada Cheeves. Well, people say it's Chavez, so I'm not sure if it's Chavez or Cheese. Or... However, we've had Jada. We've had Lisa Bonet. We've had Nia Long. We've had Sanan Lathan. We've had Beyonce. We've had Pam Greer, Felicia Rashad. We have had such a diverse group of women on this channel, and I'm going to tell you why. In today's world, we like to strip people of their power if they don't fit into the box we believe they should be fitting in. You're not feminine because X, Y, Z. You're not a woman because of X, Y, Z. And what we are trying to do on this channel is to give women their crowns back. To put the crown back on the heads of those women that others have knocked it off of. Some who might be struggling, finding their way. We want women to know that that's a part of the human experience. You're going to have that. You're not going to always be confident. So we want to put women back on the throne regardless of their social economic backgrounds. Regardless of where they come from. Whether they come from the Hollywood Hills or the streets of Jersey City, okay? Whether they come from the Bronx, New York, of Newark, New Jersey, or LA, we want to give women grace enough so that they can decide what kind of woman they want to show up in the world as. We want to give them a mirror to reflect back to them the beauty that they've forgotten. We want to give them a mirror so they can see themselves and say, wait a minute, I love myself as I am. My flaws and all, that's what we want to do on this channel. We want to give women a space because femininity, have a, it, it has a place and space enough in it for everyone. But there's this elitism that you have to be this way in order for you to sit with the group. Well, on this channel, if you have courage enough to sit at the table, we'll be brave enough to share the ancient secrets with you. It's up to you to take that knowledge and live your best, most fulfilled life. Now, with all that said, we're talking about Sabrina Elba. When I first came in contact with this ultimate beauty, it was because Idris, Idris Elba was getting married and everybody wanted to know, who is he marrying? What does the wife look like? Where is she from? And then they dropped the pictures. Not only do we have an ultimate beauty in front of us, but she's carrying something with her. It's an absolute beauty. I'm not talking about external, right? Most people will be talking about externally. I'm talking about energetically. She's beautiful, beautiful. Born in New York, all right? She's born here in America, raised in Canada. Raised in Canada, but we are looking at a Somali woman. Look how beautiful those eyes are. Somali all the way down to the bone. Her mom is Somali. Ethnically, she is Somalian. Okay? Beautiful. Some of the world's most beautiful women, in my opinion, come from Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenyan women. Oh, my goodness. Mwah! There's so many beautiful women all over the world. But that's another video. But this is a Somali woman, okay? 
and I knew there was something special about her because I saw her Somali mother and I saw the relationship she had with her mother. And I said to myself, this is why I think she's so beautiful. It's because she has that additional covering of her mother. They have such a good relationship. And some of the pictures I saw, I can see her mother's energy. All right? I can see her mother's energy. Her mother's energy is so strong. There was absolutely no way that her daughter here would not have married someone of uh, of esteem because her mother had passed on an, a huge, large energy load. And I talked about this in The Return of the Divine Feminine. I gave you guys clear instructions in the workbook, work pages, to work on your family history, your mother, her mother's mother, and her mother. So you can better understand what kind of feminine energy you were walking and working with every day of your life here. I would love to know how many of you actually really did that work because that piece is huge. Not only is it going to help you do some healing work, help you understand what you're working with, understanding what you may have been attracting, but you're able to navigate the waters better when you once you understand who you are and where you've come from. I saw a picture, and if we can play it here, there was a picture with her and her mother. And I believe they had on the hijabs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think they did. But I didn't even notice the hijab until after the until after the, the photo. The first thing I noticed is that the mother had henna on her feet and hands. And I thought to myself, well, I haven't had henna in five years. And then a light bulb went off. Of course her daughter married. She has the covering of her mother. If not Idris, someone else. Now, marriage is not the ultimate goal for every woman. We already talked about that, remember? Not all women want to get married. Not all women should be married. Some women are destined to be married once. Some women are destined to be married eight times. We all have a we all have a destiny, right? Okay, if you believe in destiny. According to the elder, the energy that you carry, that's going to dictate your life. Your story is already written inside of you. It's coming from you every day. But when I saw her mother with the henna on her feet and on her hands, and I saw the relationship she had with her daughter, it could not have been any other way. Now, does this determine whether or not you're going to have a successful marriage? It doesn't. doesn't, Nothing determines, nothing, nothing can solidify or guarantee anything, right? But there is something that Hut Wisdom tells us, is that every woman needs to be covered by a strong woman. Not strong as in strength, but strong as in feminine power. And she needs to pass that on to this young girl before she makes it to her maiden years so that she's secure, she's safe, and that she's walking this planet with that energy, okay? So, Miss Sabrina, this Somali beauty is not only just beautiful in face and face and family energy, okay? But she's also smart. She's a Howard University graduate. And she has a mind of her own. I've said this before. You don't have to put your guillotine, your head on the guillotine for love. You don't have to sacrifice yourself for romance. You can be yourself as long as you are energetically walking in your spirit. Your divine match will find you. The reason why I said that is because there's an article out there that talks about Sabrina being a model. She came back and countered that with another article. And if we can show it, it'd be great to put that here. She said, I'd never modeled a day in my life before I dress. But they want to strip they want to strip women of their power. They want to strip women of their power when they are attached to a man. She's smart. Not only did her and her husband create businesses together, they have a skincare line, but she wants to help rural farmers. 
She's out there doing the work. She has some sort of passion. I said this to you before. You can't just be a pretty face. Have some depth to you. Some depth. What do you love doing? Who can you help? Who can you help outside of yourself? I'm not talking about help as into, um, you know, maybe Habitat for Humanity. Maybe it's, you know, volunteering at a hospice, you know, a hospice center. Perhaps it's writing books to encourage and inspire women. You have to have some some have something that you're passionate about, and that will get you through many ups and downs in life, not just in relationships. It'll get you through the bad ones, the good ones that are fantastic, the bad ones that end bad. If you have something、uh, that gives you, that that motivates you, that keeps you going, some sort of passion, it just it gives you a different kind of magnetism. Because you understand that beauty is not just in your face; it's also about what you can offer back to humanity. And when Sabrina mentioned that in that article. I realize that she is no lightweight, and neither are you. I hope this message penetrated. I hope you understand what we're doing here on this channel. I hope you've learned something from this young lady here, who is out there doing the work. And until next time, be empowered, be inspired, and be well.